guys, welcome to your soulmate reading for Libra. This is going to be for your February 2024. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look and see how your soulmate journey is going between you and your person. Um, we're going to take a look and see how you are viewing your soulmate, how your soulmate's viewing you, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, um, apply this to your own unique, unique situation. Uh, you may switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are in general messages take what resonates and leave the rest behind if this message didn't resonate with you you may take a look at your other placements keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um for the collective uh libra people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies i suggest you to um book a personal reading with me. The links for those are in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, and also on my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, um, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too, okay? So, Libra. Tell me about Libra and their soulmate journey. What's going on with Libra and their soulmate journey for um, February 2024? How is Libra viewing their soulmate? How is Libra viewing their soulmate? How is Libra viewing their soulmate for February 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Page of Pentacles here and the Eight of Swords here. Um, I'm almost getting energy of like, you know, this person doesn't really keep their promises here. This person's doing things behind your back. You know, I feel like you're constantly paranoid that this person is, you know, talking to other people here, messaging other people or something like that, which I feel like this person is. We have the King of Wands here and the, the Magician here. I do feel like, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person can be a bit controlling here and very sexually manipulative. You might view this person this way, okay? Or that you are viewing this person this way. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sage, the Magician, Gemini, uh, Virgo, Energy here. And with the Ace of Cups here and the a Nine of Swords. I feel like you love this person, but I feel like this person really, really, really just stresses you out. That that mental anguish or the mental suffering that you're going through with this person is quite heavy here, Libra. Yeah, I, I, re I really feel like you just love this person. And that Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and I feel like you're hoping that this person will have come some sort of aha moment, some sort of awakening, some sort of, um, you know, epiphany here. Uh, the, things that, uh, the thing is, I just don't really see this person doing it. Not that it's not possible, but they have to want that for themselves here. We have the Five of Swords here and the King of Wands. We have the Magician here. You view this person as someone here who manipulates uh manipulates this person is very mentally abusive emotionally abusive here too that's how you view this person this person plays a lot of games i also feel like this person is very competitive here yeah i feel like this person is incredibly competitive here um to the point where i feel like this person gets really angry here if this person doesn't win or like win an argument here the ace of cups here and the eight of cups we have the nine of swords here and the um temperance card sagittarius energy one of the things i'm getting here is i feel like you might have walked away from this person for your own peace of mind here uh, or that you're thinking about doing that uh but i feel like you know i feel like dealing with this person here i feel like you're losing sleep over this over this person here and they feel like you don't want to hand your power away to this person like that where i feel like this person's controlling perhaps every aspect of her life here uh how is libra's uh soulmate viewing libra how is libra's soulmate viewing libra how is libra's soulmate viewing libra for uh february 2024 sun moon rising venus signs for libra for libra six of wands here in the two of cups I, I do feel like this person sees you as their soulmate here. You know, this person is really attracted to you. This is interesting. This person views you as someone who is very egotistical here. Yeah, this person views you as someone here who is very egotistical. I'm not quite sure why this person would think that, but, uh, you know, I'm speaking on the perspective of this person here. Yeah, I, I feel like this person thinks you know it at all or that they think that you're better than them or something like that. Uh, it's quite strange here. It's almost like uh, they're... <laughs> You know, 
they're doing bad things here, but they're making you look like the enemy here. The um, Justice card, Libra, Energy, and the King of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You know, I do feel like this, you know what, we have the Kings and Queen of Cups here. I do feel like there is mutual love here between you guys, but I feel like this person is definitely making you look like, like the enemy here in a way. Um, definitely spinning their stories, switching their stories here, telling lies about you here. The Two of Wands and the Six of Wands here, the Two of Cups here, and the Ace of Swords. This person views you as someone here who's very indecisive. Or that this person views you as someone here that, that doesn't speak the truth here. This is interesting. I almost feel like this, this person is villainizing you, trying to turn everyone against you here. And we have the star card here, Aquarius energy. And then we have the five of cups. I'm getting a bit of gossip here. Did, it, did, we, did, we, did we see the page of swords here? I think we did, right? No, we didn't. Getting a bit of gossip here. Yeah, it seems like they know that they let you down. But instead of making things right here with you, it seems like this person is just disappointing you here. I feel like this person is not getting what they're looking for or getting what they want here, but they're not speaking on that too. It seems like this person is definitely looking for more here or that they're getting bored of you or getting bored of the relationship here. Okay, let's see what else we have here. What else do we have here for Libra when it comes to their soulmate journey? What else does Libra need to know, look out for, work on for February 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Okay, so we have the uh, Page of Wands here and the King of Pentacles. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Ten of Swords here, and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, uh, you're totally done with this here. I actually don't see that. Yeah, I feel like this person is villainizing you here, making you look like the enemy here. They're making you look like the enemy when they're they're doing this. Um, this is this person has really poor character here. Just um has trouble really owning up to their own mistakes here. Uh, has a hard time letting go of the ego here. Um, this person will never learn or grow or evolve or expand here. Um, I do feel like you know. I do feel like in, in, to a degree you do miss this person, you you will miss this person, you will miss their presence here, but it's almost like you will get over it. You know that you will get over it, you will uh, find someone better here. The Wheel of Fortune here and the Page of Wands, King of Pentacles here and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, I feel like you just realize that you're, you're wasting your time with this person here. Um, also, whoever this person is looping in, you know, with these fake stories here. Um, it's just a waste of time trying to convince these people here too. Yeah, I feel like you've given a lot. I feel like you've given your all here and I feel like you have nothing more to give here, Libra. The uh, Nine of Cups here in the world. Yeah, so I feel I see you actually walking away from this and starting a new beginning here. But this could also be an indication that this person could miss you and want to come back around. Um... But I feel like you've given this person, you know, quite a few chances and I feel like nothing's changed here. Um, could be a karmic here that you're dealing with. So I feel like you're learning some big lessons here. This could be like a karmic twin flame or soulmate connection. Okay, so uh, Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.